About three weeks ago, um, a fire started in Northern California called the Kincaid Fire. There were high winds expected the following day. And so PG&E announced that they would be turning off power to various areas. Could be without power for days in the largest public safety outage in that state's history. This was actually one of the first times since I, I moved into this house and had the uh, battery and solar installed that there was an extended grid outage planned. When they announced that, it, it created, a, a I think, a big flurry of people wondering, okay, well, what do I do when the power goes down? You know, it may be down for days. And when the grid finally did go down, we were, it, we didn't know exactly when it would happen. We were, at, we were having dinner, sitting around the table with my family, and it was pretty transparent. Um, this little two second break in power as my, you know, as the grid went down and my system turned on. But other than that gap, we had power all night and the fridge kept running. And then in the morning, we had to evacuate uh, due to the fires. And I was able to turn on the coffee machine. Um, I ac actually ran um, some sprinklers to get my yard wet in case burning embers drifted into my yard. So it sort of felt like a miracle to, to be able to have power when all my neighbors were, were literally in the dark. When we arrived at my parents' house, they also didn't have power. They weren't under evacuation or risk of the fire, but they didn't have power. And they hadn't had power for about 13 hours. The fridge was leaking, you know, because it was defrosting, and so there was water on the kitchen floor. And so he had bought a portable seven, seven and a half kilowatt uh, gas generator. And after those first few hours of relief of like, okay, we're finally powering the refrigerator and everything won't melt, it started to become a real nuisance, the noise uh, and the smell. And right around that time, I, I went back, I logged in through my phone to my uh, solar and battery system on my house just to see how it was doing. What I, I noticed was I could see where the power went out and my battery level started to drop throughout the night. It used maybe 70% of the battery to get through that first night and had 100% charge throughout the day, continuing to run my refrigerator as well as my uh, irrigation system to continue sprinklering, you know, keep things wet. About four days later, the grid came back. They, they restored power and we are allowed to go back to our home and our refrigerator was still on and all the food was still good. It was, uh, it was kind of amazing. It felt uh, kind of like a miracle. <laughs> I've, been, I've been in the solar industry for more than 10 years and it still kind of feels like a miracle that uh, you know the sun comes up and there's just energy there and you can run your house on it and you can charge your battery. And uh, I feel like solar is at that point now because not only does it help with climate change, if you get a battery, it can provide backup power when the grid goes down. Convenience, help the world, and save money. It really feels to me like solar is a no-brainer at this point. <laughs>